Good evening and welcome to a quick review of the Hang Long Metal uh, Recall Unit. It's pretty new on the market. Um, I'll just explain this brass tube here. That doesn't come with it. I've got that in place. That's a 6mm diameter brass tube which fits perfectly inside here. And it's secured by this screw, believe it or not. This is the linkage to the servo. And if you loosen the screw off, push the tube in tighten the screw it actually pinches it in place you can see it's just protruding out the end there now the reason I've done this is to fit the modified uh, this is a hang long stug barrel which I've had to cut down and drill out to eight millimeters um, so it will fit over this part of the integral unit here um, this is a bit of trial and error if you're scratch building or fitting barrels that are designed to go on this unit. So um, I suggest taking your time and making sure it fits. Uh, I have had problems uh, burning out the motor in the servo. Which isn't the fault of this unit. So don't panic. Um, what I found on this hang one barrel is there's a, a flat section here which corresponds with a flat section inside here and once it's lined up properly it, it, it can move forward properly but if it rotates slightly it stops the uh, the barrel from moving forward so what I had to do is drill out the what what it basically was happening was the servo could not fully push the the barrel forward and was causing um, uh, resistance to the motor which caused it to heat up and eventually die. I've replaced the motor in the servo, not the complete servo, I've replaced the, the, um, the, the motor in the servo and it works perfectly now. Now I've drilled out the little stopper that this part locates with. So just be aware of that, you need to be able to, the, the, the servo needs to be able to move forwards and backwards, the full movement without any restrictions, otherwise you're going to bear the motor out. So that's not the fault of this motor. That will happen anyway with any recall unit if you don't sort this out. Um, so it's attached to my TK40 uh, board. Uh, I'll just give you a quick... I'll see if it works. As you can see, it moves backwards and forwards. I'll just put you in pause and I'll remount the, the mantlet so you can see how it works properly. So, as we can see here, the hang long stug mantlet fits straight onto the uh, the recoil unit just the same as it would on the old BB unit. The only modification you need to make is to the actual barrel, unless of course you get the new barrels that actually are designed to fit onto this. Um, let's give you a quick demonstration. <laughs> So we have to wait five seconds between shots with this TK board until I reset it. So let's have a quick look at the top. And we'll just turn it over so you can see the actual mechanism here. So we'll have a quick look at that. So as you can see, it works quite well. And now I've sorted the problem with the, the barrel and the mantlet, uh, allowing free movement of the servo. There's no issues with the servo heating up. Um, if you do do your own scratch built bit like I've done, and you feel the servo's heating up, turn it all off and investigate. There's obviously a problem. If the servo's heating up, there's a problem. You don't want the, the servo heating up. Um, so there you have it. So six millimeter brass tube, will help you mount any BB barrel because the inner diameter is six millimeters. Um, there was one, the only other problem we had with the T, uh, TK40 um, Clark board was it was all set up by Stian for my uh, Matilda and it all worked perfectly. But what I found was when I turned it all on, when I plugged this, this the servo into the servo port, was when I switched it all on, the gun 
actually recalled back to the rear rearward's position and stayed there. So you have to change the settings on the TK board to work with this, or I did at least. Uh, to do that, you need the uh, the, LE, the red LED um, infrared plug, which fits into that plug there. And along with that, you have this little, um, what they call a jumper. So you take the servo lead out, and where the recall servo is, you plug the jumper into the two innermost um, pins, turn it all on, and while it's turned on, you get the program, plus and minus, and you press the minus once, and the red LED will flash once, press it again once, and it will flash twice. You then turn off the power, and then you turn it back on, and you can remove the jumper and the, the lead. And when I did that, it took me a couple of times to do it, but once I'd, once I'd, 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 re, I'd redone it, the servo then went zip, and the barrel went forward where it should be at the starting position. So if you've got a uh, clap board, just be aware of that. Um, obviously it works, supposed to work with the uh, Heng Long 6.1 board because it's got the servo on it. I don't think it will work with the 6.0. Um, it may work with a Tigan version 3 board. Now the reason I say that is, as you can look over here, I've got uh, my mate Dazzy's. Uh, Tiger, this is a Henglong Tiger with a, a Tigan electronic set, but it's got the Tigan uh, turret with uh, BB recoil, and that uses a, um, a servo the same as this does. So that works. You might have to mess about with the wiring, but it should work with a Tigan board at some point. So um, just give you another another quick go. <laughs> And as you can see, there's still no heat coming from that servo. So I've sorted the problems out by removing the little stopper that's inside the mantlet and making sure that the barrel can move forwards and backwards freely without getting stuck. So make sure you do that, guys. Yep. And there we go. I hope that's been helpful. I'll, I can't lie to you. I've had a few beers and I've filmed this several times and ended up with problems with the servo jamming in the rearward position because it was overheating because of the problem with this i've sorted that out and like i say not the fault of the actual bb unit or the servo it was due to the mantlet and the gun i was using needed modifying a bit further uh, you live and learn so if you've got any questions feel free to drop me a message that's not a problem. I'm, I'm happy to help. Hope this helps. Take care, guys, and good evening.